Hi everyone, my name is Natalie and I have a question for you today. Aren't you agree that it's really hard and challenging to understand some Norwegian phrases or expressions? Utrik. Today we are going to learn a couple of more, find out examples and the way of usage. Jeg skal ikke gå mye rundt gråten, men rett på sak. The first one sounds like å skrive seg noe bak øret. Øre, ear. Å skrive, to write. It literally you would translate to write something behind your ear. You would uh, guess that it means to remember something or to make sure to remember something in the meaning to use it later in a way. The second one we're gonna learn today I used already in introduction, you might remember, and it sounds like å gå rundt grøten. Grøten is a porridge, å gå, to go. Now, authentically, opprinnelig, uh, before some years ago, people used a cat som går rundt den varme grøten. Like a cat goes around the porridge, if you translate directly, but you don't really have to. Uh, now, this uh, utrik expression describes person, for example, which cannot uh, get to the point. It can be two reasons, or person like used to talk like that, a bit uh, blurry, or the person has something to hide even. For example, vi diskuterte en saken, men kom aldri til poenget. Vi gikk bare rundt gråten hele tiden. Han valgte å gå rundt gråten og svarte ikke på noen av mine spørsmål. The next one we're gonna learn sounds like å lese mellom linjene, to read between the lines. And it means to see extra information or to see what is hidden between the lines, what is not written, but you understand the hidden information which a writer put in it. You got to know the person who wrote it or maybe a context or previous information given in the text. For example, someone sent you a message or even a letter, if you still do that, and you understand really hidden uh, meaning what the writer put in the text. And you understand the context really, and you can answer Jeg synes at jeg kan lese det mellom linjene i det du skriver. One more expression sounds like å snakke som en fås. Now in my videos I'm talking alone, it's not a conversation, and I'm talking like a waterfall, foss waterfall. It means to talk a lot, or to talk an unstoppable, to talk too much. For example, han snakker som en foss, jeg kan bli sittende i en time på telefon, etc, <laughs> etc. The next one sounds like som fisken i vannet. In English you would translate like a fish in the water. And you would guess that fish in the water feel good, I hope. And it means to feel good, to be yourself, uh, to behave naturally, to like the situation you are in. For example, Anja trives som fisken i vannet med folk rundt seg. Følger meg som fisken i vannet. Glede meg til hver dag jeg skal på universitetet. The next one expression we're gonna talk about sounds like is i magen or ha is i magen. Now I mentioned about this uh, expression in my previous uh, video. I will put it here, check it out. I have a lot more expressions uh, there. And I mentioned that is i magen means like uh, be calm, uh, everything gonna be fine. But actually is i magen have a bit stronger uh, meaning which is more widely used. It means like uh, don't rush, don't make uh, fast decisions, uh, wait and see. For example, you own some stocks and they go down in value or whatever, and then your friend, which knows in what kind of situation you are, would say, Vent lit, ha is i magen, ikke selv med en gang. Like, wait a little bit, don't make uh, fast decisions, stupid decisions, don't rush, wait, maybe something gonna go better and they go up in value.
The next one sounds like ovare i same bot. To English it would translate like uh, to be in the same uh, boat. Uh, it means like people in the same situation or similar situation. You would say it to comfort someone or to say that the person is not alone to have that uh, difficult. And the uh, common experience or situation gives a feeling of safety in a way, or at least uh, feeling that someone understands you and you are not alone having that way. For example, we are is same botme olare nosk. We are in the same situation, we learn Norwegian, so we have to help each other. O miste troden. It means like to forget prepared arguments in conversation. For example, a girl was on exam and then saying, yeah, ja, I was so nervous, I missed the I was so ner nervous that I just forgot what I wanted to say. I just lose the theme. Or I missed the little meeting, but I found way until back. I just I lost what I was talking about. I lose it, but uh, I found my way back and. I started to talk what I planned to do. Now, I, I missed the throwing also can mean like if someone talking to you and the theme is really interesting but it's so difficult for you or you are not so concentrated and you're like losing a little bit uh, what the person is talking about, then you can just ask, can you talk slower? Can you snacka saktere? Eller kan du jenta? For jag missed the throwing. Next expression sounds like Oha di tommeltotter. Tommeltotter, I really wait for your thumbs. Please hit that button, like, subscribe to my channel. Now, Oha di tommeltotter, to English it would translate it to be all fingers and thumbs. And it describes the person which is not good with uh, fixing things, like a plumber or mechaniker. For example, Han har di tommeltotter når det gjelder praktiske ting. The next one we're gonna talk about sounds like a note as I sell it dora to meet uh, yourself in the door. Now you would not die sell it dora if you were exposed to consequences of your own uh, proposal or measures. Can be used in politics because politicians they use really strong meanings and opinions and can be caught doing exactly what they against to. Or can be used in a strong discussion when you really mean something but you do yourself that. For example, you are talking with your friend and you're really against eating sugar, sweets uh, or unhealthy food. And then uh, your friend caught you eating uh, sugar or sweets. Uh, and then you murder they sell it dora. It's like you are not following your own opinion. You are doing exactly that what you're against too. Remember that we are i samme båt. Jag hoppas att jag kan lära och läsa lite mer om linjerna. Av och till. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please check out my channel, subscribe, like my videos, let the comments, and see you next time. Hade.